Accurate forecast in the Ozarks. Oh, looking at radar right now, we do have some showers popping up out there. Not very many of them. They're very isolated, but where we have these showers, the rain may be coming down at least briefly pretty good. We've got a heavy shower here to the southeast of Van Zant. That one looks like it's going to clip. Uh, the Van Zandt area as it continues to track generally west southwest uh, also looks like a light shower down toward Dora looking at a few showers further northwest across Webster and Wright County into parts of uh, Dallas County another heavy shower located near Pittsburgh here southeast of Hermitage that one too building off toward the west southwest the reason why we have the showers where we have them is this is where we have the highest instability uh, in that zone from morgan county into north central areas of arkansas so we've got this breeding ground for these isolated showers they pop up and then the steering currents take them off to the west southwest and the reason why the instability is where it is is because moisture is pooling on the back side of this frontal boundary. Winds are converging along this front and it's causing moisture to pool on the back side of that front. So where we have higher levels of moisture plus temperatures in the low to mid 80s, that equals higher instability. You get that instability axis and that is the breeding ground for those downpours that we're finding late this afternoon. Those downpours will not last long once we get to sunset because we'll find uh, temperatures cooling off and I would expect the showers to very quickly go away. The rest of the night looks quiet. Tomorrow that frontal boundary will push further west in eastern Kansas. So that reservoir of moisture that led to the higher instability today east of Highway 65 will be located over and west of Highway 65. So this is going to be where we have the better chances for a few isolated afternoon showers. Outside of that, mostly sunny skies. Another thing to keep in mind is on these easterly winds, we've got some drier air at the surface gradually building in from the east. So it's going to be a less humid day here east of Highway 65 and temperatures also will be a touch cooler. Our hour by hour forecast for tonight. Shower threat, uh, very isolated in nature, but certainly there along Highway 65, especially uh, through sunset. The rest of the night looks quiet. Tomorrow morning looks quiet, mostly sunny skies. And then we will see another batch of isolated showers for the afternoon and early evening hours. The chances primarily along and west of Highway 65 tomorrow afternoon. Temperatures tonight, coolest east, where we've got some drier air working in. Here in Springfield, looks like a low of about 66, with highs tomorrow ranging from the low 80s of our eastern counties back up to 90 here along I-49 here in Springfield looks like a high of about 86 and that ridge that's keeping us quiet will continue to keep us quiet throughout the rest of this week. But the ridge does finally get kind of squeezed out uh, by the end of the week heading into the weekend and with this trough moving into the upper Midwest that will push a front toward the region. And that will also lead to higher chances for some rain. And with the higher rain chances, we'll find temperatures getting trimmed back after some late week heat that will uh, continue, I think, into Saturday. Uh, but with scattered showers and thunderstorms starting on Father's Day and continuing into next week, it should not be quite as hot. Make your plans to be on the water Saturday, though. Wow. How about our, our Viewers Club news that we're yes, going to share first? Uh, we had a winner. So congratulations to Linda of Brookline, Missouri. Won $1,000. We've reset our jackpot to $100 in tonight's winning number. 131162. All right, Jamie, thanks. Well, coming up, we have some coronavirus exposures, some public exposures to share with you that happened here.